What is up, Jeremy? I am Game Near Five coming at you with a brand new video, and welcome back to the Near Village server. It's been a decent amount of time since I've actually said that. Uh, welcome back to the server. I'm standing at in uh, one of the suburb streets that I've been building recently, and uh, so. This is just where I'm starting. This is not where we're building. I, if you don't know, I don't like building houses in videos. Well, I don't like building houses in general. I like building big buildings. Houses aren't big. <laughs> so, um, so, as I move my mic a little bit. Um, today, we're going to be continuing the build in Elephant Island. On Elephant Island, we are going to be building, continuing the uh, abandoned hockey arena. So, uh, yeah. So, put my helmet on. We are currently in uh, at Skulk Street, which is the street that I literally just excavated on Friday. Yeah, Friday. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, um, we are going to hop on this guy. And right off into the moonlight. To, uh... Get to the site in Elephant Island. If you, I'm pretty certain a lot of people have seen the site that we're going to today, as it's been abandoned for quite a while, and um, mostly because I noticed I messed up on it, and um, I just abandoned it because I wasn't willing to fix it. Well, I need to fix it eventually. It's a really big build, so hopefully I can get it done on time. I'm starting this on Saturday. You guys are seeing this on Monday, so hopefully you guys are seeing this on Monday. Last time I had a deadline on the server I, for a video, I didn't make it, so hopefully I make it this time. We will see, though. It will depend how fast I work, but... It's not just me on the server now. Um, uh, Miss I is also on the server, and quickly before we actually go running off to Elephant, I'm uh, I'm going to show you um, where she is uh, at in this world. She's done pretty well for just literally just getting the game. So, <laughs> um, yeah. It's definitely been fun having someone on the server um, now, uh, not just me being uh, alone. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go quickly show you guys her uh, house and stuff, and then, um, then we will run off to Elephant, which will take us a little bit, but we will run off to Elephant. And, uh, yeah, after that, I will build. Well, I'll run you through the plan for the build first before I actually start building it, what I need to change and everything that needs to be done with it. Because there's still quite a bit to do. Um, the bowl is kind of complete, but that's the part that I messed up. So I have to redo it, so, which is really annoying. But, um, yeah, we will work on that in, in today. Um, let's be honest, probably also tomorrow. Um, so we, no, I did pick quite, um, far, uh, pick a lot decent, not really in a city. So that's why we're traveling so far. So, um. Yeah. Um. Now, I know uh, her house is not in a city. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but um, 
she wanted to build something specific, so I gave her a really big chunk of land. <laughs> Which was right next to our fun area. And another thing that's a little bit different on the server now, we're starting to full, uh, mess around with um, lamp posts. Because I said it was quite dark on her computer, and I know that it is dark on laptops, and she runs on a laptop, so, um, I completely understand that, and we've been testing out some, uh, lamp posts around here, and, uh, you will also see another construction zone coming up, uh, that, uh, I've been working on. Uh, well, well, mostly just me at the moment, but, <laughs> um, we did do the top build together. Um, I'm just going to park it right here for right now. This is I's house. Um, she, she is, really got a big lot from me. <laughs> and, uh, she's really gone all out. This is her main house and, uh, she went, um, she was recreating a house in Red Dead. I, I would say whose, but I can't remember the name of the guy. <laughs> but, um, she made, like, a farm and stuff, and I just pressed the wrong button. Uh, but, yeah. I'm not really going to show you guys inside it, but this is where she's at. I'll probably show it tomorrow uh, in the next video. Um... I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, we will see. I'll, I'll uh, ask about, uh, ask if I can show her inside. Well, she's probably already seen this episode. So, she will probably either say yes or no. Um, but this is Slide Town. This has been something I've started. And uh, we have a lot getting put in here. Um, this Took a while to do. It's still not done, but this is the jungle area, and uh, as you can probably tell, there's a bunch of jungle trees. Um, but this hockey arena, uh, the well, <laughs> this is the hockey arena in the, um, in Slide Town. I really had this vision to have it on. In, on one of the big floating platforms, and I built it on one of the floating platforms. Now, I don't know why we decided on this, but we decided on the color scheme of Slide Town to be yellow and blue. And it, every build now looks like Ikea. <laughs> Just inverted. Like, so, this I did by myself. As my phone goes off. Then this, me and I did together. This is Raft Inter Intercontinental Airport. The um, Slide Town Airport. And we did this together. This was her first build with me on the server. Um, and it turned out quite nice in my view. Um, they're very unique buildings. Color-wise and stuff, they're very bright, which was what I was wanting to go for for this area, and I think we nailed it to a T. So, um, without further ado, let's get to Elephant, so we can start with the build today, and to more before the next episode, I will show you guys, uh, possibly show you guys the inside of her house. Maybe with her, with me, I don't know, but probably not, but we'll see. <laughs> Anywho, let's, uh, let's go back to, let's travel from, instead of going more south, we are going to go to one of the most northern port points on the server. <laughs> Literally right before Frostbite Valley, that's where the site is, so <laughs> we have a long journey ahead of us to get there. And, uh, yeah, I felt like it was a good idea to at least show you guys where she is right now, um, on the server, and I can show you guys her house at a different, you know, the inside, and whatever else we are doing in that area at other times, because 
We're, we're having a lot of fun in that um, area and building a lot of fun stuff, which um, it is starting some ideas for future um, uh, projects. So, uh, but well, nothing's really concrete yet. So, uh, um, once we, let's be honest, I'm gonna be completely honest, I'll probably announce a big news anything at, um, that we'll be doing Minecraft-wise together at your end, because that's where everything gets announced. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're gonna go right back through the tunnel, and, uh, yeah. Uh, right back through Opinion Tunnel to, uh, get to Globetrotter Bridge to get to Elephant Island. And this is gonna be a very long journey. I'm not gonna cut this out. A lot of you don't even see, haven't even seen me take a full journey on the server from, cor from Eastern to, from pretty much fully Eastern to Northern. Um, so, yeah, a lot has happened on the server, but, um, not a lot of, like, big projects are left, so, um, it's kind of, uh, just piddling, fiddling down, and the little, some big projects are getting finished quite quickly now, but, um, that area we still haven't really started on, we I built the giant uh, skyscraper, but I haven't done anything else. So, but, um, yeah, there's still a good amount to do, but nothing super big is left. So, um, kind of made it a little difficult to pick builds to do for um, this week. And I only have this build planned for today, and I might have to pick something else for, I, well, I have to pick something else for tomorrow, which I don't have picked yet, <laughs> but, um, I don't know what I'm going to do, um, what we're going to do yet for tomorrow, I don't know why I'm rambling on, but, um, obviously you guys will find out tomorrow, um, so, yeah. Might be redoing a build, probably not, um, but like, there's definitely things I can do, but I don't know what I will do, so. It's just going to be a little bit of a long night thinking of what to do. <laughs> Let's, uh, arrive here, put that in. Okay. We are now in Canada. And I guess I can show you the other project over here that's under construction. Um, we have two um, construction projects over in Elephant uh, we're on at, in production at the moment. Um, it, well, in progress. This one is the new... Uh, Airport expansion uh, Me I did this side. I did this side and uh, we Kind of left it um, <laughs> We need to finish this um, And I have an idea for right here. I might finish this tomorrow. I don't know. I would kind of want to do this with her. So um Yeah, then Obviously, it's the build we are going to be doing today Which will be done by the end of today <laughs> So, yeah, let's uh, keep on moving, and uh, I can show you guys that. I'm just gonna park it up on the on the highway. I don't think anyone will give me a ticket. <laughs> so yeah, going this way. That's the project right there as I almost go directly by it. 
Okay, need a fence. Okay. So this is the hockey arena that I've messed up. Now I know a lot of you are probably gonna be wondering, what did I mess up? It's uh, not even on both sides. <laughs> <sighs> Which is really annoying because I need to pretty much completely redo one side. And I haven't entirely decide what, decided what side I'm redoing. It's probably going to be this side because I have under part here that I don't want to be removing. Even though I'm pro I'll have to extend it, I know that. But I don't want to be removing it. So... Um, yeah, uh, I have my dimensions book, uh, with me, so I know how big this will need to be, but, um, we have to complete all this under part. This is where the second change room is gonna be. Um, then, obviously, it all has to be covered up. I need to remove all the snow, um, and, uh, we also need to do landscaping because this looks so ugly at the moment <laughs> because you can literally see everything and the landscaping part that is the most nerve wracking part for me because I suck at that and I don't know why I've decided to build this here but um <laughs> yeah. We will work on this. I might also completely redo the change rooms and stuff because, well, I can. So, we'll see. I'm just coming up with more and more work for me to do here. But um, if I seem to not be able to get it all done, I will bring I in and we can work on this together if she's not busy. Um, so, without further ado... I don't have that much to do because the bowls are pretty much done. But, um, let's get to building. I have to redo probably this side. This is probably going to be the side I do. But, without further ado, let's get to building!
one quicker than I would have thought. But um, take it. I could have um, I could have pushed this another day. Like I rushed on this, and uh, I could definitely make things look a little bit better with it. But I think it turned out pretty good. So let's uh, drop down to the to the road that I built. And I will explain why there's a bunch of weird shapes on it. Um, so I was inspired for the, um, design by a, um, uh, a soccer slash football stadium in real life. Uh, that's going to be getting used for the World Cup in Qatar. The country I can't say the name properly say the name of, but um, it was made out of ship, uh, shipping containers. So I uh, I took that as inspiration. I wasn't gonna like fully make a hockey arena out of shipping containers. That would be physically impossible because it has to stay cool. So I did a glass thing and then did a bunch of colorful panels on the front. It turned out decently, and then um. Along with everything else, I think it really adds a lot of character to this build, and um, it's really, really nice. It took a whole lot of time, and I will be happy I put in street lights. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and I did this. Hopefully no one decides to go down it. <laughs> I added a waterfall. But, um... Yeah, I think this turned out wonderfully well, and I had some, I put some shipping containers here, spelling out, well, trying to spell out, this does not say elephant. I tried to short elephant, usually what I do when I'm uh, shorter, shorting elephant is elfie. Well, I couldn't fit elfie in that, so I just went LP. So I hope everyone gets the idea gets the idea of that um well you guys now probably understand it um then i it what this is mean to say is elephant island sport district which is pretty much just this building but it fits super well and i felt like this was a good idea with this turning into a major shipping lane like um I find that this will look quite nice by, from water travel and yeah so um and then obviously I added uh this crate and that crate with the two teams logos um and that I just thought would be a really good um tribute to the two teams and then inside I decided to go with packed mud for the flooring on the first floor um, of the arena. I don't know how I feel about this. I might change it, but at the moment, I like it. It looks looks good. It is a little bit dark in here because I haven't put that much lighting in yet other than the big giant windows that are kind of blocked off. Then this floor, I kept it stone. You can see the entire bowl, which I think gives it quite a lot of character. But I've been, I was meaning to put some lights at the end of these, but I didn't. And I will do that eventually, I just don't know when. Anywho, um, then, uh, I added two, um, I added these two staircases because originally there was only going to be two staircases over here. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. If anyone wants to go up to the concourse from the entrance, they'd have to come all the way to this end, go up these stairs, and then walk all the way around. <laughs> Didn't really make that much sense. So I added four, two more on the other, on that side, and I think it, Makes it a whole lot easier. I did also add on this end two emergency exit doors that uh, currently lead to absolutely nothing because it's me <laughs> and I didn't think to add a path to the front. Um, but uh, yeah, then um, 
Then obviously we have the bowl. And, uh, but before I actually show the bowl, I will show all the, um, walls that I put up all around, uh, to make this look like it's part of land. I did a really bad job of making it look part of the land, so I'm, I'm just gonna pretty much say it's the re retaining wall. <laughs> it's very flat, and very much made out of stone. And, uh, yeah, it... It looks kind of weird, but I couldn't think of any other way to do it, and I was going to rush to get it done. Because if I were to take my time with it, I would still be doing it. I didn't want to do that. So, I just did the lame way and just flat. And stopped. You can still see underneath. Eventually, you won't even be able to see under there. But... Let's uh, go this way. Let's now show you the ball. This was the most headache thing in the world. I don't know if you could tell at the very beginning of the time lapse, I, I realized how much I messed up originally with this. I messed up so badly. Like, um, I had to remove this entire side Plus this entire wall, which I already knew I'd have to, but I didn't expect to need to remove this side. Like, I had to remove two entire sections, plus this entire section, twice, plus this, once. No, why I said this twice? Silly me forgot to actually move this back. <laughs> I rebuilt it right on top of that without moving it at all. Yeah, it was smart. Um, <laughs> so, all of it's fixed now, and I realized, man, I messed up that first one. Like, so much was wrong. And I'm glad I've done it now. I will be putting in the ice in very, very soon. But I didn't want to do that on camera. So, uh, yeah. But, now I'll show you the underbelly part. The part that always takes the longest, and it did take the long, uh, most amount of time to uh, work out. I did still use the same um, area for the um, hockey team as was already um, set up. So I just like kind of brightened up, changed out the floor, and... Uh, uh, and I think this turned out super nice. It looks so clean. Now, this room I didn't decide to do anything with. So, I'm just going to close it up. Because I completely forgot to. <laughs> so, now you can't tell that was there. <laughs> then, this is the change room. This was so much fun to build. I love building change rooms for the hockey arenas. And this one's no exception. I used copper for the first time ever. And it looks awesome. And like, it gives it that shine and it just, it looks so nice. And I'm not just saying that because it's our channel colors and obviously I love the coloring. But um, I love the look of this change room. It looks awesome. Um, then this way, a late addition, I added a... Um, there, uh, like, uh, hangout area, hangout space that a lot of sports teams do have. Mo most of the time in their training practice facilities, but this team doesn't have a practice facility. So, I just put it here. Same, I did the same thing with, um, in the Rockets and Hypers and, um, uh, their arena. So, um, yeah. Anywho, out here, we come to the big entrance onto the ice which will be like the which would be like the opening entrance but um then going back in we come out this way and we got come onto the bench and in here is where medical supplies would be and uh repair equipment for any malfunctions I really thought of everything with this. <laughs>
then um, if we come around this way, this Zamboni entrance, um, then over here we have uh, the Wolves, uh, which is the basketball team. Uh, pretty much just copied what was uh, in the other area just over here and now being a basketball team they don't need access to the bench but because this is also the way locker room they do need access to the bench so here's the access no uh no one um, pressure plates on this side but then um this is their locker room a lot more brighter because they used birch i already expected it to be a lot brighter and i was right then um uh, this way, we keep getting turned around. This way, this is their hangout area. And, uh, yeah. This turned out super nicely. Um, the score clock's huge. Um, I love the way this turned out. And I, like, these builds take probably the longest amount of time to do because they take so much detail and time. And I can probably guarantee all the other builds this week are going to be quick <laughs> because I physically can't do the proper, do big builds by myself. So, um, with that, I'm going to call it a day for today. I'm going to get rested up for the next build that I'll be starting tomorrow. So, with that, guys, I'm Game Near 5 from the Army Team, signing off. I hope to see you all in the next video tomorrow with the next episode of Anir Village. As we race to the finish line to get this server complete. I hope to see you all then, and goodbye! Ah!